What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Munchie bringing you guys another tips and tricks video guys in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best pro tips guys I just want to let you know now I went off in this game Like I don't think I've ever played this good like any other game like I mean not just getting a high kill game I mean yes, I did get a pretty decent amount of kills this game But the way that I played was so smart so strategic like everything about it was just it was good the way I edited my stuff you guys are definitely going to enjoy the gameplay but during this gameplay I'm going to be bringing you guys the best pro tip starting off with look at this shot right here Okay, so this guy I can only see him from the window All I timed it perfectly to the point where I was just gonna jump and I knew I was only going to see him for a split second My teammate was telling me he was one shot So instantly I was like, okay If I just can get one little angle on this guy and that's all it is like as you guys can see even from that right there That kill right there everything is about angles like there's some times where I could barely see the person But I'm hitting them with a perfect angle to the point where I'm able to connect my shots and actually kill them now in this situation my teammate got knocked I miss a lot of my shots and that's because I'm spraying that's the first tip that I want to give you guys is to not spray if you notice that first guy that I killed in the house I was just tapping the trigger and that's because it makes your shot a lot better now when you're just holding it down it makes things a little bit harder and you're gonna miss a lot of your shots so it is better to if somebody's at a farther distance or further distance it's better to just go ahead and tap the trigger rather than holding it down spraying trying to hit him it is harder because sometimes you're like crap I know this dude's one shot or you're, you're panicking you want to kill him extremely quick so you you hold it but you got to learn which situation is good to just tap it and then which situation is good to hold it now a lot of people when they play this game they think just holding on to the trigger is going to get them to kill very easily but sometimes tapping it does help out a lot now moving forward this is the same exact game as you guys can see my teammates still back at lazy links looting and i'm over here by the airplanes trying to shoot these, this team that's fighting now we're in a duo game so i know that i can hold my own against 1v2 so i decide you know what let me push up on this team alone now guys this is not a good tip don't follow what i'm doing right here in this part of the gameplay because it's not a good thing to push alone unless you know what you're doing or you got yourself covered like you got to have straight confidence and know exactly what you're going to get yourself into so i saw they were fight and I knew there this one guy was at least weak it looked like there was only one other person left so I decided to rush get high ground above him and then again while he's turtling up shoot down on him and then when I hit him one time I was like you know what? he's probably gonna try and heal let me get in the same box as him knowing that I had a tag shotgun and he had a pump I was like okay this guy is definitely gonna lose because I get my shots off a lot quicker than he does now skipping all the boring parts this is where things get crazy peep my kills I only have five kills at the end of this I don't even know how many kills I get but there's a lot of teams that show up right here at this location um, um, now we have the plane we're in the circle so I was like you know what let's mess with these guys let's be annoying now I don't like to sit in the plane and just circle a team and keep shooting them down and stuff you're gonna see us jump out of the plane now I don't know if that's a smart idea unless you know what you're doing um, but the reason I like jumping out is because I like to get in the action so it does make you a better player the more times that you get into gunfights now I'm maintaining high ground as you can see Dude, it looked like he was about to build up, but I was like, no, I'm not going to let him get high ground on me. I'm always going to maintain high ground. If I don't have high ground, you're going to see me in a box turtled up and stuff like that. So I'm paying attention to where my teammate's getting shot at, where people are. Now there's another team. It's just hectic. At this point in this situation, things get crazy. My teammate called out that he's coming to Thurston, so I knew he was down here. Um, this guy ends up turtling up like a smart player would do, but he made the mistake as not letting me. I basically put a roof up and then got to him very, very easy while he he was trying to heal so that's that's one mistake that a lot of people make is when you're in a box turtling up trying to heal keep in mind that if the player that is rushing you is decent at the game or good at the game they're going to do everything they can to destroy the walls and try to put their own walls down so that way they can control the box that you're in so make sure all times you're constantly having your own box and stuff like that you guys saw me dip out of there right there because it's not a good idea to just stay in a turtle box like that for so long i changed my location and i stayed in a box now there's another team that pulled up on us so i think we just killed one team now there's two teams around me running around so my mindset was to make sure every single gun is reloaded and to stay as quiet as possible let the other two teams fight let me stay turtled up it looked like they didn't know where i was i was just basically sound whoring and waiting to see the opportunity now i heard somebody pickaxing the thing so i was like you know what this is my chance because they have their pickaxe out and just like that i have to retake high ground i cannot let them get high ground second i take it over quick edits just like that and it's a quick kill like that i mean that was crazy that guy he looked like he knew what he was doing decently um but i'm i'm staying high ground as you guys can tell right here i dropped high ground but i knew that this kid was going to turtle up and i wasn't really too worried about it so i was just going to maintain high ground right now i go right back up to exactly above him so one space and i'm just playing with him i'm making sure that his little turtle box that he has is under my control basically meaning i have control of it by editing my walls and ramps and stuff like that and i'm just i'm just working my way on this person so if you 
have yourself in a situation like this you just want to be able to destroy their one by one and slowly put up your wall on each side and stuff like that so that way they have no time to edit out or anything like that now in a situation like this where somebody gets above you and they start third parting the second you hear them reloading that's when you need to make extremely quick edits and rush them with your shotgun because they're not going to be ready for it they're they're sitting there reloading their weapons and stuff like that so the second you make quick edits and you're in their face you have a shotgun you scare them and exactly what happened right there is what could happen to you now as you guys can see let's watch that clip again now i slowed this clip down by 50 percent so you guys can exactly see what's going on so i'm just rotating through pyramids and floorboards so that way he doesn't actually break into my place now the second i hear him reloading you see me quick edit my floorboard and my pyramid so that way i can get above him now i instantly trap him in a box edit it extremely quick and take a shot on him and then reset it now the reason you're doing something like this is because the second you trap him in a box he probably thinks he's safe he thinks that there's no way you're going to be able to get in there because just initially quick reactions to a lot of common players in fortnite is if they see a roof above them they think that they're safe they're, they're nothing that they're really going to run into or get in the way but the reason i quickly edited it was so that way i can actually get in his box and take a shot off him extremely quick now moving forward uh guys this is a situation where there's two teams fighting and i come to third party i take a snipe and i saw that i got this guy wig i have to get in the circle anyway so i might as well just rush him anyways get high ground like i tell you every single time i'm always going to fight for that high ground now sometimes i will lose it but you'll see exactly what i do when i lose it but in this situation this dude's in the circle i'm trying to get a little bit lower he has high ground but he's dumb enough to jump down and lose this high ground now i hear him reloading the second i hear people reloading i like to make a reaction quick edits and try to do anything that i can luckily that dude hit me for really good damage but luckily i was able to get a good angle on him to take my shot before he can actually take a shot and kill me in a situation like that now i'm gonna easily put down two campfires take some big pots heal up and stuff like that i'm in a circle i have time i hear another team fighting but it sounds like they're fighting another team so i don't have to worry too much right now all i need to worry about is healing up now let's fast forward through all the boring parts and basically now at this point i see another team fighting i just take a shot just because why not I, even if i hit it or not i wanted to take the shot and luckily i connected with it i'm not gonna stay there and fight because there's 10 seconds and i need to get in the circle and there's no reason to just stay over there and fight so i easily launch pad find the quickest way to get to the circle and set up for the next fight again skipping all the boring parts you guys see me take a snipe at another person from a distance and i mean taking sniper shots i don't see anything wrong in it besides blowing your location and stuff like that but when it comes to like situations like this where the circle is getting smaller it's kind of easy to find people in situations like this so i say take the shot if you can get the kill and you can headshot them or anything like that why not go for it so i saw he was shooting another team so i figured the team was down here somewhere doing something and instead of maintaining high ground which is what i would suggest doing that was a crazy shot that i just hit right there too 150 damage done to him but the smart thing that would have been done was to stay high ground stay on the mountain because it's in the circle and not rush these kids but i was feeling aggressive and i wanted to get gameplay so for you guys i decided to rush them and stuff like that so i'm instantly rushing maintaining high ground this dude was a good builder so you guys are going to see a good build fight of maintaining high ground and trying to keep the high ground because you guys are going to see this guy really really tries really hard to get that high ground he almost does a few times and actually one time he, i jump off the map and he takes over the high ground right there was a quick pyramid by him which is very smart he put up a quick wall like that like the dude knew what he was doing my edits were extremely quick but he was able to actually put things down just in the nick of time for me to not get my shot off so i heard one of their teammates fall and that was my next reaction was you know what let me get down because the other guy's probably going to get down too and try and thirst him or bait him down here like there's no reason to be up there fighting and stuff because somebody else could third party shoot us down and whatnot so i decided you know what let me rush this guy uh i was messing up on my pyramids and floor floors right here but i still was able to get high ground back on him i think he gave up i think he was either reloading his guns he didn't have much mats or he was trying to heal up so instantly first thing i had to try to do is get on the same level you're gonna see me i was gonna start smacking that wall to take over it but i saw he was taking high ground the second you see somebody going for high ground you got to change your mind and retake high ground like right here i see he's going again for high ground quickly instantly i'm going back for high ground again going for high ground he gave up right here so i was like you know what let me just heavy snipe with this guy's freaking roof get in this platform and just shoot him with a shotgun very very smart 200 iq play that's why i like using the heavy sniper over the other guns because not just is it a good sniper rifle it's really good at just destroying people's builds and material and stuff like that so if you want to get in there one by one it's super easy now the best way to counter that let me go back and replay that clip the best way to counter somebody getting above you and using either a deagle or a heavy sniper to just shoot one time and get in the same block as you is if somebody is above you always remember to put a pyramid and a floorboard above you, you don't want to just simply 
simply do one thing because it's easier for them to get through you're gonna want to get used to doing a floor or a pyramid at the same time now fast forwarding a little bit you guys are gonna see a 1v1 situation now again this is all about maintaining high ground you see I saw the guy building instantly the first thing I want to do is just quickly get high ground don't give up the high ground position because one it scares people if you're building a lot like this it really scares people to the point where they don't know what to do or they'll panic um and they're like oh crap this is a good person you don't want to lose high ground because having high ground is everything in Fortnite now again it's not like you're gonna automatically win just by having high ground you still have to have a good shot and stuff like that now I heard him jump down to the bottom so he was probably either destroying the builds or turtling up and I figured he was destroying the builds but he was actually turtling up and I just used the heavy sniper again to destroy the wall and instantly start shooting him to get the victory right out now guys the heavy sniper is huge I suggest using that over the other snipers I know a lot of people don't really like it but it's not just good because you can actually hit your sniper shots it's better to just destroy people's structures and stuff like that but guys with that being said there's a 16 bomb tips and trick video for you guys if you please can give this video a thumbs up guys smash the like button as much as you can and I'll see you guys in the next video peace